How's it going guys? Welcome back to Smile For Me. Every time I sit down for a new session like this, I wish that I just had the time to sit down and record it all at once, because now I have to try and remember, like, where exactly did I leave off. I try to kind of refresh myself bringing up the previous thing I had recorded. Good morrow, sleepyhead. Rub all that sand out of your eyesies already. I think I've seen that little intro before. I'm not too worried about it. You had set me up with something new. See anything photo-worthy lately? Um, yes? It's rats. Not me. I've been camped by this window waiting for something, anything engrossing to appear. A bird, a plane, even a UFO. You say that as if it's your third option, like it's the least interesting of the three. Although I do really love birds. I swear, if there was something to photograph in this window, you wouldn't see my face again. I would never look away. Anyway, are you here to admire my portfolio? Sure, if you want to show it off. Stay a while and take a look. Those are some of my favorites. You're really enjoying yourself. Woman 2 is one of my greatest works. The picture of a horse? <laughs> I've got a theory. Every solid canvas is just a home for a thing. A canvas without a thing isn't worth the time of day. Like this dull, empty window. I... It doesn't seem to be, like, interactable. So I can't just, like, put a, a photo in it, as far as I can tell at least. Like, I can't just shove this in the window. Obviously this wouldn't be the photo that she would want. But I don't seem to be able to do that. Wasn't there something that I was gonna do for you that you were gonna provide me with like an upgraded camera? I would like to initiate that particular thing. Or am I just supposed to look at your photos here? What if I take a photo of woman too? Or a photo of yourself? No, no particular commentary on that. You don't, uh, if I show you a picture of yourself, an interesting composition, but you've still got learning to do. Not, not what she's after. I used to spend every day in the lounge, but misery hates company. Saw some advertisement, hung up the bathroom, never touched it. Proof of, uh, future, there's a thing in the bathroom. Shh, not certain what to do about that one. I'm still left hanging. Pickle guy is completely satisfied. These two are all good. I can't remember if I asked about the megaphone, and I feel like I'm done with the locket, but maybe I'm not. Do you want a hint about this item? Yes, because I can't remember if I asked. Scream! If you want the whole habitat to hear something, this is the route. An amplified voice is carried far, far through the habitat. Everyone will know. If you want to be a runt, you can expose people's secrets. But only the people who don't get shy. Hmm? Okay, so who's not shy, whose secrets are in need of exposing? I still have to get a cape for you, I'm aware. The cloth is in the hands of the elites. We must reclaim that sweet, sweet cape material. That tent was erected by Habit himself. He wouldn't even notice a cape-shaped hole in the side. I don't have to, to take this from the vampire. My powerful voice strikes fear in the enemy's hearts. But you are quiet, flower agent. Sneak up and do your duty. I'm counting on you. This is... Oh, that is the only tent, actually. I, potentially that one over there, but I... Presumably, this is the tent we're worrying about. Uh, where can I cut out of... Ooh, 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 there we go. Tent patch. Very clearly marked. Well, in that case, here you go. I've been going about this the wrong way. Flower power! Yeah! Now I can fly! Maybe. It's a pretty sweet outfit altogether, I will I will admit. I did a good job. This is it. I'm finally ready to face the green menace. Someday, you'll have to face him too. When that time comes, you'll need this tool of justice. The punching glove. It's not a boxing glove. <laughs> ah, and there's this nice thumbs up underneath. You permanently kind of got your fist in that shape. Now, tell... Don't tell no one I gave you this. Good luck, my emissary of power. Alright, I had multiple things that I needed this for. This was one of them. There was a mini game here, and also one other. There, there was like a character that just needs to be punched or needs me to punch something for them. A punching glove! Then we may begin! This is a whack a molar, a toothy game to conquer your toothy shame. The rules of this dental diversion are oh so simple. Teeth grow from the board, and you must punch and crunch. Rotten teeth are yellow and yucky. Smash them and crash them. Healthy teeth are blue and beautiful. Don't smack them. Whatever you do, prepare your glove. Then we begin, I dare declare. 
Uh, this time I will actually make sure I initiate the game. I won't make the same mistake as previously. Well, I came through so slowly. I was sitting here being like, I see yellow there. Is anything actually coming? I suppose the game is like uh, purposely doing it a little bit slowly because it's a little bit difficult to like make sure you're properly aiming. Face your fears. You can do it. I wouldn't say I'm particularly afraid of teeth. Although it is a very common nightmare for your teeth to fall out, so maybe that is some people's fear. Although usually I think that's supposed to be indicative of something else. I actually had a tooth dream not too long ago, but I don't think it was that teeth were falling out. It was that I was, like, eating teeth or something. I don't know why teeth are such a common dream thing. Purge those rotten teeth. I should look up... I should have looked up what that's indicative of before I mention it, because it probably is going to be that I am revealing some deep-seated secret about myself by saying that I dreamt about eating teeth. Some sick, twisted fantasy at its heart. I feel like I aced it, dude. You better give me the prize. I don't even know what the prize is. I don't know what I'm, I don't remember what I'm doing this for. Ah, our game has come to a close and your score is... Oh, it's a whopping 23 points. I thought it would be 32. It seemed like it. Although 23 has its own implications. Why? To see such a humble human earn such a stunning score. 32 being the number of teeth that the average human has. Maybe that all humans have, but then, you know, some people lose teeth or get teeth removed or what have you or do or don't have wisdom teeth. 32 comes in there somehow. And then 23 just has its whole, like, mythos surrounding it, which is also interesting that 32 is 23 backwards. I'm getting off topic. It practically makes me crumple. You deserve this. In an earlier time, it once made father happy. That's why he stashed it inside of me. A chunk of attendant. Gross. So Dr. Habit made you, and you just ripped out some weird crumpled up piece of paper of yourself. This isn't... Okay, the girl who's sitting on the stairs said something about paper in, in this world making her uncomfortable or something. You've won the penultimate prize, a tiny piece of me left by my creator. Do you feel better, relieved, rejuvenated? Yeah, it was great. Is that not a legit question? Is that rhetorical for a change? There we go. I told you so. Sure as you're made of meat. Come back tomorrow for the ultimate game. Oh, we're not done yet, are we? Something that just uh, popped in my mind that I forgot to cover at the very beginning of the episode. At the top here in episode 3, I pointed this out saying I don't know what's going on up there. I can't tell if it's just like supposed to be scribbles. There's like a 4 and a 2 in there and stuff. Someone in the comments pointed out this is actually Russian lettering. So I went into... I'll pause the game or something so I'm not wasting time in game. I went to a website, just Wikipedia or something, that had a full chart of Russian uh, alphabetic characters and I copied those into a sheet and then like reviewed the footage and copied and pasted them over until I had the full drawn out set of words and then I ran that through Google Translate. It's uh, two sentences. Smile in all uppercase with an exclamation point. Be happy exclamation point. All of that in all uppercase. No idea why there's randomly rushing up here being spoken by a wolf but it's uh, carrying over the same old, same old tradition of just wanting people to make sure they're being happy. I forget what this guy needs. Oh, who's that smoke billowing? Lovely Martha is chunking it along now. Nice, to need the perfect gift for her. Something that really captures her essence. Those pearly molars, rusty hinges. I've clicked past on accident. <laughs> Even if you need to dig around the trash or worse. I'll see what I can find for you, dude. I gotta go find the other thing that needed to be punched. It was something in the lounge. Mmm. The meat needed to be tenderized. So I'll give that a few quick wallops until he tells me to stop. Is that not doing it for you? Slap that meat! Yeah, yeah! Powerful, manly, muscular! <laughs> Is it too much that I go too far? And voila! I mean, it's done! Got food, sort of. <laughs> God, it's just, it's just a plate full of crap. Ah, oh my, uh, my son loved this recipe, that weirdo. Oh Say, I miss him. Don't tell anyone I said that. This is like when Oscar says that, or Michael says that Pam is a fantastic artist and a wonderful human being, and Oscar's standing there being like, Why wouldn't you tell her that? Why wouldn't you tell your son that you miss him? 
Come on, man. Well, I'll be the the courier of this news. I'll I'll patch up this relationship. Hopefully, it'll make both of you happier. Oh, I'm spun around. The sort of food. Food, comma, sort of. Hopefully, this is what you needed. Oh, look at that little grin. Oh, my dad's signature recipe, huh? Did he say anything about me? Yeah, he said he misses you. Was it about sports or girls? Then, was it about mama? No. Hmm. Maybe I better talk to him after all. I do kind of miss him. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be together. Hey, don't tell him I said that. You two are impossible. <laughs> Just go talk to your dad and tell him you miss him. My stomach's confused. But at least I'm full. Maybe I'll go pay my old man a visit. Yes, do that. Presumably that's something you'll carry on next day. Chunk of attendant. Oh, okay, unpacking it. June 4th, 1967. That was just a few days ago. Also my buddy's birthday. Dear Diary, today is a bad day. I'm trying to see what it says there. Something Diary, page one. It's hard to see. Mom and Dad seem very sad, always. And they never... Wait, all these, like, typos and everything. Is this from Dr. Habit since he made the... The paper people? They never smile, just grimace. Today I was going to give my favorite flower to them. However, it went bad. Dad saw me giving kisses to my lily to make him grow. I wonder what he crossed out there. Oh, it's just today was crossed out to today. I don't know what lily might just be another typo. Pops was so mad, furious. My flower got hurt and so did my smile. I just wish my parents would cheer up for once. Until next time, Boris H. Hey, we got the first name of Dr. Habit, which is relatively interesting. We also see that he's got some, like, weird family issues. Wait, over there is the billowing smoke. Is that what you were talking about? Do I have to go follow up with something over there? Lovely Martha's chugging along now. Wait, is this thing Martha? Are you, like, in love with this weird smile? Captures her essence. Early molars and rusty hinges? He is talking about this machine. I'm sure you can figure something out. Even if you need to dig around the trash or worse. I can't even wrap my head around what it is that this guy's asking of me right now. I'm, I'm kind of wigged out by it. I might be a little low on time. It's late, but I'm not totally shot. I can still try and run a few more conversations. Tiff used to sing into a handhold, handheld megaphone. You could hear her voice from across the habitat. I wonder where that dreadful device ended up. Oh, if only I could hear the affection of my daughter. A simple I love you is all that I, all I requisite. But I'm sure she'd never say it. She's most stubborn. Gets it from yours truly. I, I don't know if you want the megaphone or if you want me to give it to your daughter. She seems... I probably have to make her say I love you and I have to hold it up to her, but I don't know how to make her say I love you uh, without, like, forcing it out of her. I want her to say it naturally. I want her to just realize that she misses her father and to say it, you know? My dumb dad is still moping down in the courtyard about my dumb name change. Who cares if I changed it? It's not my problem. If he's offended or something stupid like that, you shouldn't need to deal with it. You should. If you think I'm going to be the bigger person... Go tell him. I love you lots, Dad. Mm. Then you're mistaken, nerd. I'm busting that out. Even if I do love him. Lots. Or something. Whatever. I hope you didn't hear that. Okay, well, I'm obviously running you through this conversation again uh, very quickly. You should, bigger person, and tell him. Was that... Does that count? What to get that thing out of my face? Someone might have heard. I don't. I probably don't have time to go follow up on that. No, I do. I'm doing it. We've done it. We've achieved love, brother. <laughs> Shit, I'm not making it easier on myself. You must have heard that, right? And I'm shouting it from the rooftops. Why? Oh, I must be hearing things. My own daughter loves me. In here, I thought she'd grown weary of her lame father. Come to think of it, I suppose I never asked. Being a father is oh so difficult. 
I have much left to learn. But if my own daughter loves me, then I must be doing something, right? I have something for you, a small token of my gratitude. Here. Another crumpled up paper. Okay. Interesting. We're assembling the... Why would you think that's a good gift? Not that I required a gift, but still. It seems that it belonged to habit, that poor wretched fool. It's very personal, but you seem to possess some strange intuition for this sort of thing. Maybe you could do some good with it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Uh, okay, I wanted to try and squeeze that in and wrap that up because hopefully it, by next morning he will have moved into I don't, any any other location. It really doesn't matter where he goes, but I want him to move out of the way so I could go talk to the werewolf kid to hopefully tie that up. Whew. The time is not far off now. The big event approaches and the frowns will be purged from their lips. These rocks in the background make me think of teeth now. Make sure you pay a visit to the biggest lips of all, our lovely Martha. I finally figured that out. Frowns are her favorite flavor. She'll need them from everyone here. She wants frowns? Or is you getting rid of frowns? Except you? You are far too smiling E to help. Behave yourself. Okay. Was that two more people cheered up? Yeah, okay. That was a great day. That was a good day for us. These lips still no good. Good morrow, sleepyhead. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to kiss this thing or can I give it like, <laughs> can I trick it into thinking it's receiving a kiss? What if I punched it? I didn't think that would do anything. But what if I used my hand and drew lips on it and made like, the kissy-talky face. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, it's a stupid idea. But I, I guess I should unwrap this other... Other crumpled piece of paper. April 11th, 1974. So this is like five years later? I, I, I'm actually going to confirm that. What is... Oh, okay. More longer than that even. Seven years later. Dear Journal. Why can't my parents just step out? Does this... It also says page two on it. Okay. So step down of my life. Maybe I don't want to be a doctor like them. I would rather be a florist and bring smiles to all the sad people. Why is florist such a common job? I'm a florist. The vampire downstairs really loves flowers. Dr. Habit wanted to be a florist. Boris wanted to be a florist. Sad people like mom and dad. Martha made fun of me at school today. It must have been because of my missing teeth. It isn't fair that sad people like mom and dad get to have full smiles and never even use them. Secret? I shared my first drink with my with my Lily and his leaves perked up. He said he forgives mom and dad for what they did when I was 10. See you later, Boris. I couldn't help but listen to Habit's message. What a soothing voice. Oh, he means this. I was like, what the hell? Is the bed listening to me reading this note? Obviously not listening to me, but like aware that I have the note out. That was peculiar. Hmm. An umbrella fell off the roof the other day. It dropped right past the window. I barely had time to reach my camera before it fell out of view. Ah! I just want a still object to photograph. Any object, as long as it's right outside this window, then I'm not the least bit picky. It could smell like death for all I care. Anyway, here to admire my portfolio? Not today. Oh, you must have gotten me a photo of someone's butt. Oh, right, this is what you wanted. Do you want the photo of someone's butt and I have to go to the roof and drop something past the window for you? No, no but yet. I forgot that that was my mission. How hard can it be? Very hard. Very hard. Come back when you have some controversial material. I might never come back then. I want to maintain my YouTube monetization. I used to spend every day in the lounge, Mr. H's company. What was it about paper? I don't trust the paper here. It's much too conversational. Oh, she just means the paper people. Proof of absolute 100% success. I want to use this on you, possibly. My... I saw an advertisement hung in the bathroom. I was hoping I could use her line about wanting a wonderful future to, like, uh, say that that was a for sure thing. It seems like it needs three lines of dialogue, which she wasn't really using. Three, like, rows worth of dialogue. So you still haven't moved. I was hoping you'd move out of the way. Ah, oh, my beautiful daughter. 
Being a father is always so difficult. I have much left to learn, but if my daughter loves me, I'm doing something right. Yep, that same old, same old. Uh, are you cheered up now? Ah! What will it take for that fangy confess confession to be heard? The garden vampire is far too quiet and inaudible. I probably have to use the megaphone. But does he, he doesn't say I'm a vampire, or he did, and I he did at one point, and I like missed it. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna need to get some kind of voice projecting device. High tech shit. I might have missed that opportunity now. I might have blown past that, actually. I kind of forgot that that was what... For some reason, I had it in my mind he was just waiting for the vampire to move, not for the confession. So difficult. My daughter loves me. I must be doing something right. I think that's... Oh, 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 oh. I think if I take a photo, then you say something about it, right? Maybe? Uh, nothing, nothing you wanted to say about the photo, hey? Yeah, crap. I'm totally stuck on that one. I haven't been revisiting this guy. I don't know if the dialogue here has changed. Hi, is someone there? It's dark in here. Show me who you are. Are you still there? I am. I can't really show you anything. Oh, Trenzel, you look less opaque than usual. So I can lie about who this is. I have to find a photo of the character they want to talk to. I think they're gone. I miss Kamal. I wish she would come visit. Ever since Doc Habit mocked him so merc mercilessly, he doesn't hang out anymore. He just stays holed up on the roof. I guess I'm not one to talk. Okay. I'm relatively aware of what needs to be done then. On that front. I might be stuck on the werewolf kid. I might not be able to help him anymore, which is too bad. I think I've potentially blocked that one off. Hey, look! Your son came and got smashed here with you. No kidding! Parsley! He's soft. Makes sense that he'd come here. Not that I'm soft or nothing. He used to play sports, you know. I was just hired here. I ain't upset about nothing. Nothing. Well, I suppose I'm a little worried about Parsley. He always looks like he's about to dang blow up. Hopefully my special made him think of me. Aw, oh, since you're nice and a customer, here's the bathroom key. That's, okay, now I can access probably whatever it is that the rooftop girl wants. I've had to lock it ever since that purple woman came around. Bathroom karaoke is a thing, believe it or not. Okay, so there's something karaoke in there that I need to follow up on. Parsley, how you doing? Hi, oh, hey, flower vendor. The lounge is pretty sweet. So is my dad. It's like all the lameness got sucked out of him. That's nice. Or actually, it's more likely it has to do with me. Just you being here has made him less lame. Uh, well, that's I don't need to hear any more of your drunk ramblings. You're probably just going to start talking in circles. Open less creepily, please. Flush. Uh... Uh, one totally free fortune. Bring it to me, the fortune teller. I don't know who the fortune teller... Oh, the fortune teller. Yes, of course. Uh, but do I have to... Oh, God, am I going to flood the toilet? Oh. Oh, creepy, weird. You got toilet teeth. <laughs> and I, I, the achievement is one man's trash, which I wouldn't have made this connection, I don't think, if it didn't specifically label it that way, because now this is going to be what he wants, because he specifically said go digging for trash or something, you know? My, my. This is perfect. She's beautiful. Looks just like her. I'm getting choked up. Thank you. I'm a good businessman, so I'll pay you with this treasure I found by the garbage fire. More crumpled paper. Okay, we're putting together this whole diary here, apparently. Everyone, oh, treasure, oh no, useful, and you're you're gonna love it. Why does everyone keep giving me balls of paper? They're on along now. I got a gift to give. You're gonna make out with this thing, aren't you? I hope I get a kiss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to that, man. You you go get your kiss. You you do you. 1983. Uh, so now we're going ahead like another nine years. College is finished with the saddest folks. Collage? College. <laughs> All they do is pout and complain, burying their smiles under frown blankets of bad. Why do frowners get to have their teeth and not a smiler like me? I didn't want to be a doctor, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. By fixing the people who are broken and chipped, perhaps I can assist the spread of happiness? Maybe things are not so bad after all. P.S. Did you know that all flora and fauna need brushies to live? 
potted plants would live forever if simply scrubbed if we simply scrubbed their teeth. That's a bona fide health fact. Sincerely porous habitat. Ah, oh, was I supposed to give that thing a kiss with the like chatter teeth? I hope that wasn't some missed opportunity. Are you learn? Oh, you got a coupon. Well then, it is fortune time. Mm, the ball will shine if your fortune is fortuitous. Ah, uh, uh-oh, frowny wink. There is no light in this crystal ball, so uh, you get this. Certificate of ill fortune. Oh, so do I have to do this in the morning when the light is on it? Better luck next time. I opened you like a sunroof to specifically get l light in here. I didn't even know that was a thing. It just happens to be a thing that I did do. What time of day is it? I guess I'm probably going to make sure I'm here either right at dawn or right during the like mid morning sunny bright spot there. Uh, so ill fortune. Would ill fortune benefit anyone? Is there anyone who would want that? Oh. Can I use this to take a picture of someone's butt? This, I mean? No, it seems like characters still f follow you. So that's not going to do me any good. No particular clue on the butt thing still. And my misery, little flower. The entricastity is my omre. I, I'm so sorry that I just do not understand what you're saying. Can I just like put a different different uh, track on for you? Does that help anything? Nope. Oh wait, something in my room. The on track to KK is in my umre contract. Contract is in my room. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember what specifically she act asked for. I'm sitting here trying to not sound like an idiot reading a word that I just thought was too big and complicated for my poor little pea brain to understand. Nope, turns out it was legit nonsense. Uh, let me just go rumming, rummaging around through your stuff. Oh, oh, this, right. Uh, the record contract. Photo sensitive. Or is it saying that the photo itself is sensitive? How, how do I acquire this for you? I appear to not be able to... Can I shear it out of there? I got nothing. I, I am still completely uncertain how to access that one. Purple drunk girl, what's your deal these days? Oh, I just remembered. I was totally looking around the art gallery on the roof the other day. Maybe I looked at that art so hard that it fell off. <laughs> oh, I was kind of messed up. Sunglasses are up on the roof. I have many different reasons to need to get up on the roof. Oh, you are happy. I did successfully cheer at both of them. That's good news. I'm happy to know I was able to contribute so much to that fatherly uh, family love. Most people are happy at this point. I only have a few holdouts now. Uh, photography girl and girl sitting on the stairs. And then also at the curls in the lounge. Okay, I've, I have quite a few left to help, but I have at least have lines on how to help most of them. Wait, am I, 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 do I still have the coupon? Ah, one free, but the idiot didn't even, didn't even take it away from me. Howdy! That's, hello, in bed speak. Did you know when you dislike a wacky neighbor, never be direct. Instead, tell everyone how mean they are. <laughs> Just go spread rumors and things behind their back. That's good. A good tactic. It's called an egging. And they'll will love it. Toodaloo, partner. What is with the weird broken way of speaking? And it's really funny because the, the people, like the developers who run... The uh, associated Twitter accounts for this game and everything will often tweet out in those like weird broken speech patterns. Awesome. 50% of people cheered up. I wonder if one of them is Dr. Habit. I, that hadn't occurred to me. I figured that there would be just like 22 citizens, but one of them might actually be Dr. Dr. Habit. Ah uh, man, and there's the wolf kid and the kid in the wall. There's like six that I've met that I haven't cheered up yet. And that means there's still like five that I haven't even met. So there's quite a bit left to discover. 
I think I'm still gonna put it off for next time though. Next time, pick things back up. That was a probably a record number of cheer ups within one episode, so I'm very happy with that. Good progress overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.